welcome to Coastal Carolina University. As we celebrate today's occasion, we would like to ask that each of you silence all mobile phones and other electronic devices. For your safety and the safety of others, please do not block the aisles and remain in place until the conclusion of the ceremony so that the final graduate will receive the same acknowledgement as the first. Thank you for your cooperation and helping maintain the safety of everyone present today. Now, will the Coastal Carolina University Class of 2021 please rise? Family members, friends, and esteemed guests, if you are able, please stand and join our graduates and remain standing for the processional presentation of colors, national anthem, and invocation. Coastal Carolina University faculty are led by Haley Woodleaf. Today's platform party is led by Diane Mark, faculty member and carrier of the University Mace. The platform party is comprised of members of the University Board of Trustees, university officials, and special guests.
Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Coastal Carolina University Army ROTC. The national anthem led by Jordan Taylor and the CCU Brass Ensemble and the invocation given by the Reverend David Neese. Good evening. As we gather here tonight to celebrate the achievement of these graduates, I invite you to give thanks alongside me and to make this prayer your own. Almighty God, we welcome your presence here as we celebrate the incredible achievements of these graduates and the sacrifices of so many people. We pray for blessing on their lives and on the lives of all of those who have impacted their journey to make today possible. God, we recognize that moments like these are incredibly special and they bring a sense of gratitude. So today we want to stop and give thanks. Thank you, God, for this wonderful institution, its trustees, the administration, the faculty, the staff, and the student body. Thank you for Dr. Benson and his leadership. And we do pray for blessing on his life and his leadership as he leads this great university forward. 
We also give thanks today for friends and family gathered here who without days like today would not be possible. Thank you for those who have encouraged and supported these graduates in all times and helped make today possible. God, we thank you for each graduate today in the lives that they have. And as we continue on, may our hearts be filled with joy and gratefulness. It is in your name we pray, amen. Coming to the lectern is Michael T. Benson, president of Coastal Carolina University. Good evening and thank you very much and please be seated. On behalf of the entire university community, I welcome you to Coastal Carolina and the celebration of our 2021 fall class graduating students. As we move forward with today's ceremony, I'd like to take a moment to introduce the individuals joining me on the stage today. I would ask each of them to stand and remain standing until as their name is called. First, members of our Board of Trustees, Natasha Hanna, the Vice Chair, Lee Belcher, Lisa Davis, Sherry Johnson, Mark Kelly, Jason Repack, Warren Smith, Patrick Sparks, and Jean Spivey. Also, Daniel Ennis, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs, Lee Brown, Dean of the College of Graduate and Continuing Studies, Michael Roberts, Dean of the Gupta College of Science, Sarah Hottinger, Dean of the HTC Honors College, Holly Tankersley, Dean of the Spadoni College of Education and Social Sciences, Diane Mark, faculty member and today's carrier of the MACE, Brianna Martin, President of the Student Government Association of CCU, David Neese, Spiritual Life Council Representative, Jennifer Page, First Vice President of the Coastal Carolina University Alumni Association. Brian Bunton, Faculty Senate Chair. Jim Salazzo, Vice President for Student Success, Enrollment Management and Student Affairs. And Christy McIntyre, Faculty Member and today's announcer of student names. Please join me in recognizing these individuals. Thank you, please be seated. At this time, I invite Natasha Hanna, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, to share a few words with us. Thank you, Dr. Benson. On behalf of the Coastal Carolina University Board of Trustees, congratulations to the class of 2021 for reaching this monumental milestone in your lives. You have lost sleep, fought battles, made sacrifices, and eliminated obstacles to make it here today. And for that, you should be proud. I know that we are. Today is your day. You are our reason for being here, but you did not make it here alone. In fact, there's an African proverb that states, it takes a village to raise a child. And I imagine that each of you had some sort of village surrounding you and supporting you throughout your journey. So at this time, I would like to ask all of the parents, partners, and family members who have sacrificed their time, their money, maybe their sanity, and for one of today, or, or sanity for one of today's graduates to please stand if you are able and receive some well-deserved thanks from our graduates. Thank you for your selflessness and the sacrifices that you all have made. I would also like to know how many veterans are graduating here today. So if you've served in the military and are graduating today, please stand. Wonderful.
And if there any, are any other veterans celebrating with us in the audience today, please stand to be recognized. Thank you all for your service to our country. Now back to our graduates. Thank you for everything you have done to make it here today. And don't forget that when you leave this university, you will always be a part of the Chanticleer family. You will set the ground for those who come after you. And when you think back on your time here, like the lifelong friendships you have formed, the priceless memories you have made, the amazing faculty who guided you and receiving your hard-earned degree. We hope that you will stay connected with Coastal Carolina University and also to remember to give back to your alma mater in the future. Thank you for being with us here today. Go forth and do great things. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vice Chair of Hanna. As Natasha mentioned in her remarks, it does indeed take a village for students to succeed. And I would be remiss if we did not recognize another critical part of our students' village here at Coastal, our incredible faculty. So at this time, I'd like to ask our faculty to please stand, if able, so we can thank you for your continued dedication and support for our students and this university. Thank you very much. I'd also like to recognize, excuse me, take a moment to recognize the individuals from throughout this institution who have worked for months to plan and prepare the celebration for your accomplishments. These individuals are working in various locations throughout the HTC Center and across campus today. And even though they may not be able to stand in recognition, they also deserve a gracious applause for making today a memorable and special occasion for you and your loved ones. Please join me in recognizing these individuals. Coming to the lectern is Daniel Ennis, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Today we celebrate not only the achievements of our graduates, but also the achievements of those dedicated faculty. The Board of Trustees recognizes qualified retiring faculty members with the title of Distinguished Professor Emeritus, Emeritus Professor, or Distinguished Lecturer. These titles acknowledge the value of an accumulated record of teaching, research, and community service. At this time, Diane Mark is hereby recognized as Distinguished Professor. Dr. Mark, if you'll join me up here. Originally from Flint, Michigan, Diane Mark came to Coastal Carolina University in 2009 as the Dean of the Spadoni College of Education, making her the first African-American female Dean in the university's history. <laughs> During her tenure at Coastal Carolina, Dr. Mark focused her research on urban education, as well as issues related to community, school, and family partnerships. She's been a reviewer for the Journal of Teacher Education in the Urban Education Journal. She served on the editorial board for the Urban Education Journal, and has also served twice as its guest editor. And she's published articles and co-authored the textbook, Cultural Journeys, Multicultural Literature for Children and Young Adults. We truly appreciate Professor Mark's years of service to the Spadoni College of Education and Social Sciences and to this university. Congratulations, Dr. Mark. I now invite the family members of George William Lyerly Jr. to join President Benson on the stage.
native of Lake City, South Carolina, Lyerly came to Coastal Carolina University in 2009 as an associate professor of exercise and sports science in the Gupta College of Science. During his tenure, Lyerly was a presenter or mentor for more than 60 different scientific research presentations throughout the country. He published two dozen research articles and book chapters related to physical activity and its positive impact on health. He was very active in the American College of Sports Medicine, where he held various positions at the national and regional levels, and was also honored as a fellow of the American College of Sports Medicine. And he was very active on university committees within his department, his college, and at the university level. Lyerly passed away on November 1st, 2020, after a lengthy battle with cancer, which he approached with scientific curiosity, fierce determination, and a positive spirit. He was a devoted husband, father, son, professor, and friend. And he will long be remembered as a dedicated educator with a passion for research who took great pride in mentoring undergraduate student researchers. We truly appreciate Professor Lyerly's years of service to the, his department, the Gupta College of Science, and this university. And we thank his family for being here today to receive this recognition on his behalf. Coming to the lectern is Brianna Martin, president of the Student Government Association. Good evening, everyone. Oh, thanks for talking back to me. <laughs> at 11 o'clock this morning on the front steps of the Singleton Building, history was made at Coastal Carolina University as Michael T. Benton was sworn in as the third president of this university. And I am beyond grateful that I was able to attend and participate in such a significant event that will forever be a part of Coastal's history. In honor of this momentous occasion, President Benson will give his inaugural address during today's commencement ceremony, in which he will also address CCU's graduating class of 2021. Since his tenure began on January 1st, 2021, I have had the personal pleasure of interacting with President Benson on several occasions, and his passion for Coastal Carolina University and its students is undeniable. He has an open door policy, which makes the campus community feel as though our individual thoughts, ideas, and concerns are valid and of interest to university leadership. I look forward to SJA's continued partnership with President Benson and to seeing all of the great initiatives that stem from his administration. Please join me in welcoming President Benson back to this podium for his inaugural address as the president of Coastal Carolina University. Thank you very much, Brianna. You students are very well served to have such a conscientious, committed, and capable student body president. Big hand for Brianna Martin. It's true, I did have the chance to give the speech at two o'clock this afternoon, and four of my five children were here, and my children are my uh, most honest and forthright critics. So I asked my 11-year-old, I said, hey, Talmadge, what did you think of Dad's talk? That is way too long. So I have contracted it, and he also told me to take out the dad joke. So I uh, took his advice, and I'll get right to it. To you graduates, I offer my sincere congratulations. In my 56 years on this planet, graduation ceremonies have been among the most memorable and significant events and mile markers of life. I have participated in them as a high school student at East High School in Salt Lake City, where High School Musical was filmed. Yeah. Walked out of the Sheldonian Theater designed by Sir Christopher Wren, where the entire ceremony had been done in Latin as a graduate of the University of Oxford in England. And I presented diplomas to inmates within the walls of a state prison in Gunnison, Utah, where the graduates had earned everything from GEDs to associate to bachelor's and master's degrees. Regardless of the place, or the status of the graduates, 
there was a common theme of celebration and celebrating high achievement, such as your opportunity today. On the gates of my own alma mater is written this charge, enter to learn, go forth to serve. The same applies to you. You coastal graduates are products of what is considered the finest and most effective higher education system the world has ever known. Never in the history of humanity has access to education been made so readily available and on balance so affordable. You came to Conway of your own free will and choice to pursue whatever field of study held the most interest to you. In a literal manner of speaking, you are subject matter experts in your major or minor. Now the onus of responsibility to do something with that education and training falls squarely on your shoulders. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, the mind once stretched by a new idea never returns to its original dimensions. Today, yes, marks the terminus in your degree completion, but it also signifies an entire life ahead of you filled with learning and exposure to new ideas, new perspectives, and different experiences. Even university presidents, and I've been honored to serve in this role for nearly 20 years at four different institutions, need to remain current in their respective field of study. Mine happens to be history. There is nothing like the study of history as it encompasses everything that has ever happened along the long arc of human development. In the last few years, I've turned my own historical lens toward the development of a uniquely American institution, the Modern Research University. A very significant figure in education development and reform was John Dewey. A graduate of the University of Vermont and the Johns Hopkins University, Dewey was, among other things, the father of laboratory schools and a tireless advocate for two absolutely irreplaceable pillars of American democracy, schools and civil society. For the faculty members here today, Dewey was also a founding member of the American Association of University Professors, the AAUP, and its first president in 1915. Dr. Dewey made this observation in 1939. Universities, like families and like nations, live only as they are continually reborn. And rebirth means constant new endeavor of thought and action. And these mean an ever renewed process of change. Tradition looks forward as well as backward. While Coastal is a relatively young institution, tracing its founding to 1954, it too has a need, if Dewey is to be believed, to be reborn, to revere and establish traditions by looking forward and backward. We celebrate and honor those founders who in the mid-1950s gathered amidst the undeveloped land in Horry County and determined that this very place where we sit here today was a site for an institution of higher education. Dick Singleton, whom I quoted earlier today, the man for whom our administration building is named, wrote about the experience many years ago. He said this, it was a unified, determined effort by the populace to achieve a goal. The secret to the success was that all the people of Horry County were involved. No big foundation led the way. The rich, the poor, the elite, the laboring, the intellectual, and the deprived all join hands in a single effort. Upon its establishment, the founders decided that the best school to partner with was less than 100 miles to our south, the College of Charleston. A private school at the time, the College of Charleston was grappling with a significant post-war enrol enrollment boom. This union between Coastal College and the College of Charleston was brief, only two years, but it allowed Coastal to get its institutional sea legs under it. Our next partner was the University of South Carolina. That's right, the Power Five member of the Southeastern Conference that our men's basketball team beat by 24 points earlier this month. <laughs> Sounds like we have a couple of Gamecock fans in the house, but the Shauna Clears did win by 24 points. This alliance lasted for 33 years, and we're grateful for that relationship. We gained our independence in 1993, and at the time we had 4,000 students. Today, in 2021, we have 10,473 students, 
on a beautifully kept campus with a host of degree offerings, a vibrant student life and atmosphere, and committed faculty and staff. My hope is that our tenure at Coastal will be remembered for an emphasis on our most important asset, human capital. Attracting and retaining the very best faculty and staff to teach and mentor our students is a top priority. We will do so by first, using every available tool and resource to get them here. And second, supporting them any way we can to keep them here so they can positively impact the experience of the singular reason we exist as a university and why we're here tonight, you students. To this end, several things are in process to ensure that each student who comes here will experience all the best that Coastal has to offer. College is what you students made it. My hope is that you have availed yourselves of every possible opportunity that the university could provide. The relationships you've developed with faculty, staff, and fellow students will continue past your time as full-time students as you are now part of the Coastal Carolina alumni family. We hope you will come back often to your Conway home away from home. When you visit Coastal in the coming years, our goal is to have evidences of our improvement and institutional renewal. To quote Dewey again, rebirth means constant new endeavor of thought and action, and these mean an ever-renewed process of change. In the past several months, our new endeavors of thought and action have included the following. A campus-wide reading project, the Empowered University, as the first phase of a university strategic plan, followed by an HTC honors lecture given by the author, Dr. Freeman Abrowski. The process of developing our strategic plan will continue in the coming months. Establishment of a wholly unique service learning scholar fund called the Le Leonard Service Scholars. Implementation of the largest ever salary decompression adjustment for faculty and staff, along with state-funded cost of living increases for all of our CCU employees. The arrival in this last fall of our largest and best prepared freshman class in our history. Establishment of the Presidential Signature Series by hosting the first ever visit to campus by Rabbi Shmuley Boteach. Ongoing efforts to create, sustain, and improve a welcoming environment where everyone can be who they are and has provided every possible opportunity to succeed. Continued efforts with Horry County Schools and Horry Georgetown Technical College to gain support for the renewal of the penny sales tax next November. In addition to public and legislative support of Coastal Carolina, we will be even more aggressive in securing private donations to our university. We anticipate some very exciting news about progress on this front in the coming weeks. This is a snapshot of just a few activities and early wins as we continue to forge ahead. Finally, as we solicit input from our, all, all our constituent groups relative to our strategic plan, we will continue to focus on what I talk about, the coastal three R's. Rigor, reach, rigor, and reputation. The reach of our university, yes, can apply to our academic programs. But I would also argue that it applies to everything. We must continually focus on what we are doing as an institution to be engaged, to offer the right mix of programs, to impact our local community in a positive manner, and to provide access to educational opportunities to all who seek them. The second, rigor, has nothing to do with the background of our students or the kind of students we recruit, but it has everything to do with the quality of instruction and preparation we are offering those who choose Coastal. We exist as an institution to deliver an education for our students. Everything else is ancillary, and it is incumbent upon us to make sure we are doing right by our students and their parents and our constituents. The ultimate yardstick of a university is not the type of student it emits, but rather the kind of graduate it produces. And you are an example of the kind of graduate that we produce here at Coastal. The third R, reputation, is a natural consequence of investments in the first two. Once an immutable commitment to reach and rigor is in place, reputation, I believe, inexorably follows. The name and brand of Coastal Carolina University will do nothing but expand and improve as we invest more into reach and rigor. 
During our campus reading project, we repeated the phrase utilized by President Hrabowski in describing his own campus of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. He used these words, unapologetically aspirational. That is what we want to be. Make no mistake, there has never been a better time to be at Coastal Carolina University. As a friend of mine from Nashville told me the other day, there is a certain Chanticleer cachet associated with our campus across the national higher education landscape. Coastal is a stock on the rise, and people are more familiar than ever with our name, our programs, and our reputation. Now is the moment to take advantage of our momentum and take together another quantum leap forward. We look backward, and we are amazed at how far we've come. But the horizon ahead is bound only by our lack of vision and enthusiasm, and we refuse to be limited. I began my remarks with one of our institution's founders, Dick Singleton, and would like to conclude with the words from another founder, Bill Davis of Ainer, South Carolina. As he reflected back on what had been accomplished by this intrepid group of visionaries in 1954, he said it best. The greatest thing I think that ever happened in Horry County was Coastal Carolina, and it started from so near nothing. Indeed, the founders started from so near nothing, and look at us now. The only thing more inspiring are the boundless possibilities ahead, for both for you graduates and for your alma mater, Coastal Carolina University. We're so proud of you and grateful for the life you'll lead and the reputation that you will develop and the renown you'll be back to your university. Thank you so very much and go shots. Thank you, President Benson. I, along with many others, feel fortunate that you are part of the Coastal Carolina University family and we look forward to seeing the many accomplishments that will be achieved during your tenure. Students, family members, friends, let us again welcome our third president. <laughs> Students, graduates, this is for you. It is now your time. Students who are graduating with academic honors, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude are noted in the program, as well as those who have achieved multiple degrees. Students who are eligible for graduation with honors wear the embroidered official white stole with the university seal at graduation. Also, students who are members of the HTC Honors College, the Wall Fellows, the Jackson Scholars, the Swain Scholars, the Teaching Fellows, the Dyer Fellows, and other selected university honors programs are eligible to wear the university stole. Students wearing the teal and black cords have earned the trustee award. Will the class of 2021 please rise? <laughs> Mr. President and members of the Board of Trustees, it is my pleasure to announce the presentation of our degree candidates. Thank you, Provost Ennis. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the people of South Carolina, acting through their representatives in the General Assembly and the Coastal Carolina University Board of Trustees, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, it is my pleasure to confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended, which entitles you all to, to all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations. At this time, I would ask the first row of candidates to process to the stage. All the other graduates can please be seated. Thank you. Thank you. 
Dean Lee Brown and Dean Michael Roberts join President Benson in congratulating degree candidates from the College of Graduate and Continuing Studies and the Gupta College of Science, earning the degree Master of Science. Here we go. Alberto Chiroy. <laughs> Kamaria Melanda Elliott. Dean Holly Tankersley joins President Benson and Dean Brown in congratulating degree candidates from the College of Graduate and Continuing Studies and the Spadoni College of Education and Social Sciences, earning the degree Master of Education and the Certificate in Online Teaching and Training. Samantha Jo Asbury. <laughs> Madison Alexandra Badursky. Gloria Martinez. Danielle Marie Both. Jessica Taylor Craig. Sheila Perry Deese. Elmer Diaz. Ebony Dixon. Reagan Elise Dore. Kimberly Ann Franny. Sorry, I'm out of order. Okay. I'm educational leadership. Do we have a yellow card on? No, no, no. Melissa Ann Gibson. Thank you. Marie Porco Girolamo. Markeisha Minette Gross. Abria Owens Gunter. Holly Lene Hardy. Aaron Dodd Knight. Patty Ann Kramer. Jeanette Lopez. Courtney Jean Mahoney. Carlin Denise McRae. Kaylee Nicole McNeely. Lori Michelle Mendiola. Hannah Lee Mills. Kelsey Renee Pigotti. <laughs> Kayla Wynn Previtt. <laughs> Kayla E. Ross. <laughs> Tracy Olaria Scoville. <laughs> Teresa J. Tedder. Whitney K. Thompson. Tiskevich. Maddie Tiskevich. Joshua Lawrence Wall. Taylor Westbury. Lauren Elizabeth Urardi.
Dean Sarah Hottinger, Dean Roberts, and Dean Tankersley joined President Benson in congratulating undergraduate degree candidates from the HTC Honors College. Neely Faith Bailey, cum laude. Alexandria Jack Banning, magna cum laude. Annie Joy Burgess. Bridget N. Campbell, magna cum laude. Jacqueline A. Chow, magna cum laude. Silver Alexandra Chanel Dawson. Lisette Guadalupe Diaz, magna cum laude. Brooke Myers, magna cum laude. Jade Victoria Salas, magna cum laude. Ariana Renee Trapp, cum laude. Dean Roberts joins President Benson in congratulating degree candidates from the Gupta College of Science, earning the degrees Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Daniel Clay Allen III. <laughs> Catherine Lorana Austin, summa cum laude. Wesley Spencer Ayan. Omisha Shabre Bakot. Hayden Craig Bannock. Jaden Brooke Barnes. Timothy Shaquille Bell. Elodie Marie Bench, summa cum laude. Adante Deshaun Fivens. <laughs> Dylan James Blue. <laughs> Michael Boachi. <laughs> Logan Bridenstein. <laughs> Excellent, congrats. Raquel Elizabeth Breen. <laughs> David Lee Brown, Jr. <laughs> Devon Marquise Brown. <laughs> Kaylee Madison Brown. <laughs> Ronald Taryn Brown, II. Guy Neil Bryant III. <laughs> Destiny Burgess. Grace Elizabeth Bushiazzo, magna cum laude. Cassidy R. Callahan. Gage Matthew Campbell, magna cum laude. Malik Avon Carpenter. Monsell Malik Carter. Tristan Norvin Casper. Austin Benjamin Clark. Rebecca Grace Clark Blowen, cum laude. Sarah Kathleen Collins. Lauren Sydney Connors. Justin Patrick Conrad. 
Alyssa Jane Conway, cum laude. Taylor Kathleen Cox. Akel Bravon Cross. Kayla Nicole Conrad. Jasmine Marie Davis. Rashawn Jamar Davis. Kayla Ariana Dawson. Lindsay Elizabeth Denny, magna cum laude. Joseph Lee Dingle II. Anaje Diaviance Dobbins. Alexandra Anna Dobzraletska. <laughs> Kayla Nicole Doucette, cum laude. Savannah Joy Elliott, summa cum laude. Brianna Nicole Farron. Ashley Nicole Foreman. Hannah Nicole Franz, summa cum laude, dual degree. Shakira L. Fuller, cum laude. Latera Tanea Galloway. Tyresha Tania Galloway. Kai Alexander George. Antoine Geron Gilliard. Mayance C. Green. Gabrielle Montgomery Grobel, magna cum laude. Nicholas Golnick, cum laude. Casey Cherie Halcombe. Sabrina Harris. Alexander James Heiberg, cum laude. Justin Kivon Henry. Kirsten Kylie Hopkins, magna cum laude. Natalie Rose Horn. Caitlin Ashley Hunt, cum laude. Gabrielle Ivanov. Angelica Jackson. Charles Deshawn Jackson. Quasi Damani Jackson. Robert Kyle Johnson. Caroline Michaela Johnston, magna cum laude. Talina Nicole Jones. Preston Scott Kelly. Brian Daniel Kent. Cody Edward Kimball, summa cum laude. Megan Marie Klingbill. Seth Keegan Kepfler. Noah Joseph Costco. Allie Rose Kutkowski. Ayana Ajane Lathan. Ebony S. Leach. 
Elena Lucinda Leith. Tashia Shanice Lewis. Samantha Manns. Dwight, a.k.a. Chauncey the Chanticleer Maratzis. <laughs> Alyssa Martin. Lizetta M. Mason. Alexandria Maya Rosa Mays, magna cum laude. Sophie Faith McCormack. Michaela Brooklyn McElaney, cum laude. Chase Nicole Merritt. Colton Samuel Messick. Brianna Mikea Moore. Audrey Marissa Nelson, cum laude. Laura Nicole O'Keefe. Michael Orlando. Mitchell Edward Osborne. Kaylee Ozemak, magna cum laude. Dylan Chase Patton. Presley Dane Peeler. Marco Gerard Perucci, cum laude. Ian Hart Phillips. Kelsey Elizabeth Picatello. Daryl D. Pons. Joseph Gerald Prendergast, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Nichelle Pritchard, magna cum laude. Patrick John Pruitt. Kennedy R. Quillen, summa cum laude. Joshua Nathaniel Ravenel. Maya Christina Ray. Lucas Andrew Riggs, magna cum laude. Isaac Jacob Rapaldi. Thank you. Wesley Isaiah Rittenauer, cum laude. Megan Danielle Robinson. Alan Joseph Ruff. Jasmine Nicole Sampson. Joseph Sanchez, magna cum laude. Tanner Eric Salsaman. Sylvester Shahid Schuler. Blees Edward Simons III, cum laude. Matthew James Simpson. Madison Morgan Skelly. Madison Grace Smiley. Ariana Alexis Smith, magna cum laude. Braden Hugh Smith. 
Jamarcus Laquan Smith, Jr. Jedediah T. Smith. Kaylee Alexis Smith, cum laude. Mackenzie Smith. Bramani Monier Smith. Alexis Cortland Stolvey. Gavin Michael Starnes. Patrick Talbert. Sierra Nicole Thomas. Justin Tyler Thompson. Adley David Traver. Jadlyn Tyrese Waters. Catherine Elizabeth Watts, dual degree. Rachel M. Willamy. Carrie Ann Marlo Wilkins, cum laude. John Rudolph Zippo. William Andrew Zorn. Dean Tankersley joins President Benson in congratulating degree candidates from the Spinoni College of Education and Social Sciences, earning the degree Bachelor of Arts, Bachelors of Arts in Education, and Bachelor of Science in Physical Education. Julia Michelle Ammons, cum laude. Skylar Mackenzie Banks. Barbara Janae Barnes. Winter Grace Denise Baylor. Ashlyn Brooke Bevel. Emily Brewerton Brett. Chloe Jean Cahalan, cum laude. Casey Carpenter Gonzalez. Ireland Gray Carroll, magna cum laude. Daniel Massad Dahan. Mallory Caitlin De Leon. Eileen Giselle De Los Santos. Lacey Marie De Simone. Danielle Celeste Gaddy, summa cum laude. Kelsey Nicole Gibson, cum laude. Haley Gould, cum laude. Crystal D. Hall. Eric Thomas Hall. Kayla Brooke Harrelson. Taylor Caroline Harrelson, magna cum laude. Reagan Mackenzie Hauk, magna cum laude. Zaire Janae Jenkins. Stephen Carlito Kills, magna cum laude. Nicholas John Krivak. Jenna Elizabeth Lauhorn. 
Abigail Rose Lockard. Timothy Francisco Mack, Jr. Laura Marie Mayer, cum laude. Joseph Dean McAdams. Celeste Nicole Provo, cum laude. Alyssa Marie Senningen, cum laude. Ariel Renee Shaw. Michelle Kimberly Felix. Haley Morgan Southard. Hayes Moore Stewart. Sydney Morgan Houston. Jasmine Ruby Underwood. Kirsten Nicole Voss, cum laude. Casey Cardell Vick II. Lindsey Brown Whalen, cum laude. Ozzy Raylene Whitley, cum laude. Samara Notoria Winters, cum laude. <laughs> Stephanie Louise Ziegler. <laughs> Hannah Leah Dresner, cum laude. <laughs> Amanda Lee Ortiz. <laughs> Jeremy Mitchell Todd. Gavin William Harris. Joanna Dion Washington. Cameron Joseph Mercurio. Riley Penninger. Kevin Steven Urani, magna cum laude. Nelani Raven Coleman. Morgan Jean Venters. Graduates, would you all please arise? Graduates, I ask that all members of the Coastal Carolina University Class of 2021 move your tassels from the right side to the left to signify your status as the newest graduates. Congratulations.
Please be seated. Coming to the lectern is Jennifer Page, first vice president of the Coastal Carolina University Alumni Association. Good evening to the class of 2021. You may, well, you're already seated. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm truly honored to be here as an alumni representative today. And to kick things off, I want to ask any fellow CCU alumni who are here with us today, would you please stand? Yeah, I'll stand. Stand up, stand up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, fellow alumni. It is so great to have the opportunity to be here celebrating with you today. Now back to the graduates. Think about all the connections that you've made during your time here with professors, teammates, friends, mentors, while your network is about to get a whole lot bigger. As of today, know that you are connected to me and all the alumni winners, uh, all the alumni who were standing in the audience. You are connected to Emmy winners, to a three-time US Olympian, to industry-leading entrepreneurs, and to more than 39,000 alumni all over the world. We could not be more excited to have you join us as alumni. As you enter this next phase of your life, you will discover many opportunities through the Alumni Association. So if you take one thing with you from the message today, please take this. CCU's Office of Alumni Engagement is here for you. Some of you might be moving to a new city and starting a new job, and we will be here to connect you with someone familiar like a fellow Shauna Clear within your city or your same career path. Some of you will start your own business and get big promotions and we will be here to share the news of your big success. Some of you, I hope all of you, will return to campus with your friends and family to cheer on the Shauna Clears and we will be here to greet you with the best alumni tailgate around. So whether you decide to reach one of us today, tomorrow, next year, or 20 years like me as a graduate from the Spinoni College of Education, I hope that you will always reach out to your fellow Shauna Clear family, and we will be there for you. We will always be available to help you stay connected and to help you succeed beyond coastal. Congratulations. Thank you very much. In conclusion, I'd like to extend to each of you, each of you graduates, my personal congratulations and those of my colleagues. You depart this university with our best wishes and most sincere regard. You leave Coastal a better place because of your achievements and your service. I sincerely hope a bond has been formed between you and this un university. Your diploma is more than just a piece of paper. It is your ticket into the world of educated persons, and an invitation to join for life the Coastal Carolina University family. From this time forward, the name, the traditions, the influence of this university are freely yours, just as your achievements, your successes, indeed the tenor of your entire life will reflect forever on CCU. To the class of 2021, you represent an incredibly small portion of the world's population as college graduates. What this diploma mean, does not mean is this, that you are inherently better than anyone else. What it does mean is that you have been granted an amazing opportunity to acquire knowledge and experience. What you do with this knowledge and your education is the ultimate barometer by which you, and the standard by which you will, your life will be judged. Now, everyone, please stand, if you're able, and join us in singing the alma mater. The words are printed on the back cover of your program. Following the alma mater, please remain standing for the benediction and the recessional, where faculty members will line the exits and usher our graduates into the next chapter of their life. Thank you again very much for your attendance at today's commencement, and once again to the class of 2021, congratulations.
and celebration, let us pause to receive this blessing. As you leave here today, may God grant you wisdom to apply what you have learned. May he lead you to pursue justice in this world as you pursue your passions. And may you be agents of blessing and good in the lives of others as you continue on in your journey. May God bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This we pray. Amen.